Well, the rain is bringing a whole new set of challenges for crews on the fire lines of the Fairview Fire. That's right. KCAL Lines' Tina Ezzedine is live in Hemet, that's in Riverside County, to continue our live team coverage. Tina. Juan and Susie, this is the state's largest wildfire of the year. Some 27,000 acres now burned. This sparked on Monday, but let me give you perspective on where it was to where it's going. Uh, you can see from the mountain there, most of it burned. Now that is from Monday. Take a good look at that. And then over to the southeast a little bit where there's some cloud cover and not as much of the mountain burned. That is where the fire is now heading towards Temecula. A quadruple threat. As the state's largest wildfire of the year burns more than 27,000 acres near Hemet. There is a lot going on. This is Southern California, and sometimes these, these events line up such as this, and uh, that's what we're seeing uh, right now. First, an excessive heat warning. Now rain, creating the potential for mudslides. A flood watch as Tropical Storm K moves closer to the Southland and a high wind warning. We had a lot of uh, very forceful winds, uh, 35 mile an hour gusts this morning um, that were pushing the fire to the west. Uh, winds coming out of the east pushing to the west. So uh, that did create some expansion of the fire. Firefighters still struggling to surround the fire and stop it as its torturous trek now moves towards Temecula. The Fairview Fire, as it's called, sparked Monday afternoon, killing two people as they tried to escape. Escape. Evacuation orders in dozens of areas. Residents near Red Mountain Road watching, waiting. And I need to find out if my house is up there. It's still standing. I'm really, you know. You don't know at this point. Frustrating. Yeah. I can only imagine. Oh boy. Yeah. But I just, you know, it's like. 17 years living here, hoping her home is still safe. God's watching over this mountain and keeping us all safe. Okay, back now live. You can see from the American flag there, uh, it picks up the wind and it gives you some perspective on the wind conditions out here. That is why fighting the fire from the air has actually now ceased because the winds are starting to pick up now in addition to the rain and the cooler temperatures. I have to say, uh, considering what we've been enduring for the last week or so with the excessive heat, that actually feels quite nice right now. But it's not so great for this firefight, and part of the reason is because firefighters just don't know where this weather conditions are going, what's going to happen next. So they're standing by for that, but that uncertainty is what's creating some generous concern out here this afternoon. Reporting live in Hemet, I'm Tina Ezzedine, KCAL 9 News.